from the toy drive to girl softball. We've, We've got, got the scoop. scoop. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Centurions. Today is Monday, May 8th, 2017. Hope you guys are having a great day. Yeah, I hope you're having a great day, Centurions. Let's start off our broadcast with Dr. Swanson, so take it away. Hello, Centurions. As you know, I am a pretty competitive person. While it might not be as interesting to you, I am so proud of your attendance over the last four weeks. I like to compare our attendance to the other high schools in the district, including Sagerstrom and Godinas. The reason I like to include them is because we are just as good of a school as they are. We need to believe that. We are capable to do as well academically, as well in athletics and other areas. We also have to want it and work for it. If we do that, we will see better and better results as a school. Not only that, we need to share with others that we are a good school and the good things that are happening here at Century. Okay, so back to the attendance data over the last four weeks. We were first out of all of the high schools in the district for two of the weeks and second of the high schools for the other two weeks. So nice job, Centurions. Let's keep it up and keep moving forward. This requires all of us to work together. Have an outstanding week, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Swanson. Now listen up. Centurions, they are in need of hiring swing instructor in Santa Ana area. It, it is an awesome job summer. So they, some that's what they say. <coughs> some details of the position include pay of 25 an hour and training provided, swim lessons at clients' pools. Any interested applicant, please apply at www.bigarmswimmers.net. Apply. Yeah, it's down here. Oh, the Orange Wood Foundation is doing a toy drive from May 8th to May 19th. These toys will be given to the Foster and Community Young Center kids from ages 0 to 17. You can drop off these toys at the Parent Center. The PALS program is doing a leukemia campaign. Leukemia is a type of blood cancer and you can help out by donating some blood. They are giving community service hours for students who raise money to find a cure. If you're on community service hours, please go to room 319 to pick up a box and return the community box by May 12th. Listen up, seniors. Grand night is coming up, and trust me that this year you don't want to miss out. Grand night. There, it will be on June 8th, Universal Studios, Hollywood. Tickets are in sale now for 118 deadline, and to buy them is May 26th, and like it said, you don't want to miss out, so check this video out.
Um, school is almost ending and summer school is around the corner. So <laughs> listen up, this year's summer school will run from June 26th to July 13th for, sem for semester one and July 14th to, 20 to July 28th for semester two. Summer school classes are being offered for enrichment first time learning and to make up any failed classes. Please keep in mind any class that is failed must be recovered. So if you have any questions regarding summer school, please see your counselor before school, after school, during lunch, or during class. Only if you have a pass from your teacher. Seniors will be taking senior um, to register for class to Santa Ana College on May 16 and 17 from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. The they only space for 200 students, first come, first serve. Please pick up your permission from the higher ed center. Now, so I want to con congratulations to the following students who will be awarded the Assistant League Scholarship next Wednesday. They will, they will each receive 1,000. The students are Brian Al Al Alegria. He will be attending to the CSU Fullerton. Rudy Martin de Campo, he will be going to Orange Coast College and then transferring to a university to study engineering. Also, congratulations to our AVID students, Wendy Perez, Lorena Garcia, and Jenny Garcia. Wendy Perez was awarded a 1,000 scholarship from the Assistance League of Santa Ana. She will be attending Cal State Fullerton in fall. Lorena Garcia was awarded a 5,000 real scholarship from Kinston Technology via AVID Scholarship. Lorena was accepted into numerous Cal State and UC University, including UCLA. She decided to attend UCI, where her financial aid will cover all her expenses. Jenny Garcia was selected for April's Soroptimist Woman of the Month. If you have the pleasure of having Jenny in your class, you know she is the most deser she is most deserving. Jenny was also accepted in many universities. UCLA included. In the end, Jenny committed to UCLA to pursue a degree in biology. Congrats to this wonderful avid seniors. Attention all seniors. Journalism will give you a chance to write for this upcoming issue of a new school newspaper. A senior will, will a senior world is where you will be able to share what you would like to leave this school or give certain people. Also, Dance is having a concert on the TCC on Friday, May 26, and the tickets are $5 pre sale and $7 at the door. So make sure you guys um, get your tickets to come and support. Century's race team competed this past Saturday in their big annual competition called the UCI Ener Energy Invitational. The race, is the race is divided into four heats of 15 minutes each. Unstoppable Century's heavyweight car competed against Tustin High School, Full Hill High School, and one of UCI's cars. And here we have a quick video. For century, only three of the four heats were run because um, the last heat was canceled due 
to a brief but heavy downpour that led the officials to cancel um, the last heat. And because of that, the cancellation of the last heat, the officials needed to determine a fair method of calculating the points because some heavyweight cards from the other schools did get to run the fourth heat. But Century, Foothill, and Tustin, and UCI didn't. So the results have not been determined at this point, but at the end of the three heat, Century had used the, la the least energy and had competed as many laps as Fuerha and Tustin. As soon as the results are determined, well, we'll announce it here in the inside scoop. Now let's move on to sports. Our girls softball are playing today at Catella, so if you see them around, make sure you guys wish them luck to win. To take that win. <laughs> now boys tennis will be competing in the first round of CIF tomorrow and the rest is yet to be determined. Now to baseball they're playing tomorrow and it's a home so make sure you come and support them and also wish them luck. Well that's all the news we have for today. Bye! Bye.